How do you do? It's me, Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor, with your latest episode of Networking Nugget. Today, I have my buddy Lou Moretto with CV Home Watch to be my next interviewee. I'm really excited to have Lou here because he does something really cool. Lou, would you like to introduce yourself to my to the audience? My name is Louis Moretto, and I run Coachella Valley Home Watch. Uh, it's the only home watch in the desert that's run by retired chief of police and is certified and accredited through the National Home Watch Association. I like to tell people that I provide seasonal and part-time homeowners the ability to sleep sleep soundly when they're away from the desert because they know I'm there to watch for their house. That is great. That is awesome. So Lou, you and I know each other from a networking group. Those of you that haven't heard of it, Business Network International. And we also network in the chambers. Those are all the things people think of when they're thinking of networking. Is there any kind of a venue or a place that people don't think of as a place that they can network? My clientele is usually people who have a second home. And Oftentimes, they consider gated communities and HOAs. So for the larger HOA communities, networking in their clubhouse, speaking with their social directors, things like that. Uh, Everybody knows people here in the desert who are not here full time. And they've heard people concerned about something going wrong in the house, somebody checking for their house. And this is a service that is hugely important here in the desert. What I'm hearing is you think outside the box because you're thinking of how can I get more business? Because that's really the point of networking is we want to get more business. So what you're doing, you're thinking outside that I never thought about that with the HOAs and the um, clubhouse. Are you able to get into the clubhouses when you're not a member of that HOA? It's been a challenge for some of the communities. You know, one of the things about the home watch professionals are certified and accredited through National Home Watch because our industry is not regulated. And there's a lot of people out there who are hanging up a shingle and haven't been properly trained. So it's really about getting the word out there. There's people out there who don't know that home watch exists. They just rely on a neighbor. And that may or may not work for them, but it, it's peace of mind to know that you have a professional, they're doing this for a living, and you're getting a written report after every visit. So you know that it's been done because it's geo-specific and date and time stamp. How did you come up with the idea of checking out HOA association clubhouses? Actually, I live in an HOA. My community is is very small. And before I opened the business, so I've lived here just shy of eight years. And there's been at least 12 homes that had catastrophic water damage, literally water running out the front door. Now, I'm not suggesting that Home Watch is going to find every issue or prevent every issue, but it's going to minimize it. And what people don't know is if you haven't properly cared for your house by having someone look after it, you put in a claim, the insurance company can deny that claim if you haven't had anyone in that house in a month. My service provides you written documentation that a neighbor won't be able to provide you, that it's been checked every week or every other week. Um, Is there any kind of materials or preparation that you bring with you when you go to a networking venue like BNI, the Chamber, or one of these clubhouses where you're going to you know, let people know that you have a service. I try to bring business cards and pamphlets. I also bring with me a report so they see what they're going to get. So they see the value of the home watch service. What do you do to feed your brain? Educate, inspiration? So I've recently started not listening to music in the car and listening specifically for networking information. I do podcasts all the time in the car. I've actually gone through a dozen years and I just recently started now getting the audible books and I listen to that in the car. I love them. Is there a particular book that really impacted you with regards to networking? Networking Like a Pro was the first one that I did. The downside to the audible book is it makes me want to physically have the book as a reference. So I'll probably wind up getting it again in a hard copy form. Yeah, I've done that too, where there's a book I want to go back and, and, and follow up on certain stuff. One of my favorite authors, and he's about business and negotiating and marketing, his name is Dan Kennedy. And he does these books like the no BS whatever, like no BS marketing plan, no BS social media. I just love his writing style and, and he does Audible book. That's the only way I'm reading books is Audible. That's the only way. <laughs> and, and you know something? there is nobody who can't benefit from learning more. Thank you. Exactly. Actually, uh, Darren Hardy, he's another one of these development people. He talks about, he's interviewed lots and lots of millionaires and lots and lots of super uber successful business owners. And that is the one thing they talk about the most. Education, education, education is their single most important passion is to teach ourselves about our craft and, you know, pound at home. And then the other one is focus. That 
that you have fewer, you, you do less, but you do a lot more of it. So in other words, instead of doing a shotgun approach to how many tasks and things you do, you do more of a magnum, a real pointed. Yeah, you, know, you want those relationships to be deep. Yes, exactly. So do you have any funny stories from networking venues or? Not from a networking venue, but I will tell you that it's important yeah. to, to stay focused on what you're doing. And I bring that up because I walked into a house, obviously I'm going to people's houses, there's nobody there. I suddenly looked in one direction and I scared myself because I saw my reflection in the mirror. I'm like, I really got to start paying attention. The one that drives me crazy and it's never been funny. It's just an annoyance because I never want to correct people to their, uh, uh, the freaking phone. You know, it's just, it's become such a distraction nowadays. You know, it's like people are constantly looking at their phone for the notifications and email. And it's like, put your phone in your back pocket or leave it in the car. I think it's really important to be engaged with those people. There is nothing that is that important. You're with a client. It's an insult to that client to be sitting there and looking at the phone instead of looking at that. Exactly. Nothing is more important than being with that person. I told my assistant this yesterday. I said, is this a life or death situation? And she said, well, of course not. I said, then it doesn't deserve the urgency and the stress that you gave it. <laughs> you know? I said, I'm not going to give you anything that's life or death. And so unless I tell you it's deadline driven and tomorrow's a deadline, there's no reason for you to, to be stressed about this crap. Do you have anything else you want to add that we haven't discussed about networking? Going back to what you said about all the Uber professionals and education being so important. That's the one thing people can't take away from you. Once it's in there, it's in there. I pride myself on that personally as well. You have the blessing of being a, a chief of police. You've got that in your background. I admire the people in your role, the, the observation, you know, the, how you're trained, how to observe, trained how to focus and how to think. I just think that's phenomenal. I mean, and that law enforcement background comes into play all the time with giving people ideas on how better to protect themselves personally and property wise. Does that rub off into any of your work with BNI? or the chamber, meaning that background, that education you had from being a policeman, are you able to not necessarily to give advice about security, but is there anything else that comes up? One of the things that's very important in law enforcement is the ability to listen. And so I've taken that in the world of home watch now because, you know, I want to make sure that I'm listening to what my clients want. I actually go over an entire profile of things to cover. I know their landscaper, what the irrigation zones are, uh, their gardener, the day the trash is taken out. All that imp information is important because I need to make sure if I go to that house and I see the telltale signs of an irrigation leak, I need to be able to know what zone that is turning on. And I need to do that in an effective manner so that I can protect my client. That's a way you could actually pass on your knowledge in the networking world. So like at the BNI chapter or the chamber, teach people about observation and listening. Yeah. Teach them things that only you learned as a policeman that people just don't think about. You know, it's like when people are having a one-to-one conversation, let's say it's a networking or it's even a client. I mean, what you were taught about paying attention to details and listening and observation, to be able to teach that to somebody else so that they can get the essence of nonverbals, for instance, because it's I know you were taught that kind of stuff. Like, ah, that would be phenomenal to get a policeman to teach people about observation and body language. And uh, in the words of Ivan Meisner, the founder of BNI, you have two ears and one mouth and you should use them proportionally. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. I, I can admit <laughs> Lou, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you. Um, this is your second round and I think we had a lot more fun this time and I appreciate it. You did it early on and thank you for being a guinea pig and thank you for giving it a second shot. And thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. Absolutely. Absolutely.